Hey everyone and welcome back to my third episode of my very small foundation series. This is going to be a little showcase of my final design of the city. Um, and I want to say this is not the final design as you can see right now. We will do a little jump into my actual save game. Uh, we will be a little bit more ahead but I wanted to show you where I have been going after the last video. So in case you haven't seen the last one I'm gonna link this now to the top right. Um, Again, uh, I need your feedback also because uh, I do want to do a new series on that, I guess, but I want to make this also a bit of, um, you know, dependent on your feedback in this episode. However, uh, as you can see, I started to increase the amount of uh, wheat farms to the outsides of the town and I also tried to start off building uh, a lot of new bakeries and stuff. However, um, the overall immigration slowed down quite dramatically and I don't want to talk too much about this state. I'm just going to show you around quickly because you will then be able to spot the differences. Hopefully uh, after we jumped over into the next uh, save and then I'm going to talk you through what I figured um, I have done wrong actually and, and why actually I ran into basically um, a dead end um, and, and there is no real reason for me to continue this unfortunately but uh, you know I'm gonna explain this to you now in the new uh, save game. All right, here we go. We are in my uh, newest safe game, I should say. As you can see from the top left, um, we went up by about 40-ish villagers. That means also I spent more than three hours um, to get these 40 people more. You can see a few things have changed. So first of all, you can see the farmland over here has gone and I opened this area up to a bit of a a new area in terms of um, immigration. I was hoping that, you know, by by the time people would come in and, and enjoy this a bit more. It, it seems to not work out the way I hoped, um, mainly because for whatever reasons I um, I don't have any tools of wood and for I just can't get any more of that because my overall tool production is dependent on the wood, obviously because they don't create any more uh, coal and for whatever reason my uh, people don't cut any more wood even though there is a whole bunch of wood here and I had a lot of these uh, lovely little wood camps over here they were basically stuck in there and I couldn't do anything so I, I tried to get in with another people in here but it just doesn't work so people don't cut any more wood and I cannot do anything I think it's broken in this file I have no idea and I can't even build new wood camps or woodcutter camps because they do need some tools. So yeah, as, as of now, uh, this is a basic dead end uh, and I cannot do anything. Like I tried to shift uh, people into the existing woodcutter camps. We do have some over here as you can see. So there is a wood cam uh, cutter, there is a wood cutter, but you can see they have all zero, um, zero wood in there because mainly the problem is that this is way too far in the distance and they don't even go there they don't even find um, the area to chop this down and then I also I, I decided to change this a little bit and uh, get in with reforestation but for whatever reason that doesn't work either so my forester camp um, there is someone working in there but uh, for whatever reason they just don't do anything even though I I just basically tried also to we can just also do this uh reforestation and just say okay whatever do it in whatever reason you want uh, area you want but for whatever reason they just don't do anything and i i build a few of those um and they don't seem to act and the other little issue i have is whatever i wanted to do whatever i tried the bread production just couldn't be improved like i always I average around 300 bread, which is not enough to make the people uh, totally happy because as you can see, there are still many villagers lacking um, some stuff. And then you can see villagers are leaving due to unhappiness. Like I think I, I lost about 40 people and I gained 80. So that's, this is why we had an overall growth of the city of about 40 people. Um, but I, you know, it's not the game to blame at this point. It's really this poor design of the city. Like. I had this idea from the very beginning in mind to make the circular city and in theory that works well but it doesn't really work with the mechanics of the game. Now the biggest issue about this is that all these farms out here they are nice and they seem to work nice and stuff like that but however the problem is that people are most likely living inside the city so they have quite a huge 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 um, distance to their actual workspaces which in fact leads to the problem that it takes ages until they go back and forth so the whole time okay so they they do have this little issue that they um, 
yeah, they just spend too much time walking. It's not efficient. So what I would need to is I would need to have some some buildings uh, inside this area for the wheat farms for the people to live there and actually work for this. Um, I could have changed this by just, you know, making sure that I have all these people actually working in here. Um, that makes sense, but it, well, it doesn't really work out. You know what we do uh, just for the sake of, of playing in here? I'm just going to promote all these people down here I can let's check for the level six ones I don't have that much money this is the the other issue um, since people are unhappy you are basically always running out of money uh, because people can't buy much because there is nothing available at the markets and then yeah oh there are three people unemployed how can that even be possible let's quickly change this I'm just gonna go to the workplace list as you can see there is like a lot going on here um, let me see if I have more Wheat farms, no, there is basically, you know, we can just have one more weaver, why not? And then let's go to the wood cutters. Uh, let's see, it's not called wood, it's not like, how is it called? Stone camp, no, shepherd, uh, wood cutter, why is that like, okay, whatever, it doesn't make any sense. And you can see the next villager just left the town again because of unhappiness, which is weird, it's 75. Um, it's not great, but it's also not, you know, I, I would figure it's not as bad as they would need to go. But yeah, in effectively, as you can see, oh wait, actually he does start to reforest, finally. Okay, well there's a little, a little glimpse of, uh, of, of positivity in here that this could be done. But anyways, I am really, I, I really want to focus on making a new design. And this is what I wanted to show you in today's video quickly. Um, the problem is I don't really have the money to show you. But anyways, um, if you guys want to see me tackle this again and build a new design of a city which is focused on maximum efficiency and I really want to have this town with a thousand people in, I really want a 1k town in a foundation. This is my, this is my goal to be honest. And I have the idea of really stretching out to um, try to go for a design that is basically working in chunks, you know, that we do always have like a hub of uh, a little town center where there's a market space, we have a transportation hub, and then we have around this space, we have basically four farms of each, like four, uh, four diary farms, four cheap farms, and four... Um, wheat farms and then we have some windmills and we have some bakeries and stuff so that they are all safe uh, self-sustainable as we are making some money i could quickly show that to you um so just to make sure that you guys know what i mean let me just quickly check where i could do this so on territory you don't really have that much territory open over here um yeah see there is no woodcutter can not find anything in the area well we, we could basically show that to you here um territory okay never mind okay money is gone already so see it doesn't really show me where that is so they all tell me that okay oh god oh god oh god all these messages are gonna really tell you yeah see now the woodcutter tells me that there is no wood in the environment where i want to cut it and i'm not really sure where that is because as you can see the extraction is all over the place so basically i can paint that as well over here so at least there is some wood. I don't know if they, they would be up to, for cutting that now, but um, okay, I cannot reach this because that's not my territory. Uh, this is all, as you can see, there is a lot, a lot of wood available, but I think it's because of the distance. Also, there's no farm field. Yeah, some kind of, <laughs> I, re I, really, I really kind of lost track of what is going on anyways um, at some point, but yeah. Now, as I said, this, this whole design idea I have, I cannot really show you because we're not making any money. It's, it's a little bit of a nightmare because as the more unhappy they are, the less food they have, the more they start complaining about this. And I would, you know, if, if this area would be done over here, oh, look at that, there's a house coming. Um, but um, yeah, this is also like the market over here is uh, something I cannot really build because we don't have any wood available. Like, okay, we st slowly get some more wood now, I think because did they chop them off already? <laughs> I think they just chopped this off quickly because, it, okay, man. Okay, that's that's kind of nonsense. Uh, I do have some more of these um, forester camps. Maybe I'm going to, you know what we do just quickly in here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this also as the reforestation, whatever area, how is it called? Reforestation, I, I, I think it's called that way. Uh, anyways, if we put that in here, at least he's starting to do some stuff, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
I mean, the overall the overall is uh, a city is kind of neat, and I think it, it really the circular city design worked in a way. Uh, but yeah, I think for the efficiency, we reached the maximum that works because again, we just don't get any higher with the breads, even though the production is perfectly maxed out now. And we have got so much. Like if we go to the resource panel, you can see um, it seems to be working fine. We don't any have any any. Uh, uh, weed at um, in the in the storage at this point. God damn it! I don't even know what to say. Uh, but yeah, it's just we're getting some more people. We are growing. It is okay. But um, yeah, I'm just lacking behind, and I would need to stretch out to have even more farms and just redo a little bit of the transportation stuff. So actually, it would get better if I now would employ all the transporters so that the the the, the goods are transported quicker. But still, that wouldn't change the issue we have of people living too far away from the actual workplace. Um, so yeah, quite a few issues we have here and there. Also, we are not making solid money. So that means uh, getting getting some buildings done is kind of finicky, even though we, we get some more houses over here. I think this is because I... I gave them some upgrades, uh, which is cool. But uh, again, I think I wanna wanna have a fresh start with the new design idea of, of these chunks because I really have the feeling that this would make the whole um, thing more efficient and also make this whole, you know, give me a possibility to build a huge city. And as better as the uh, overall self-sustainable design works, the more we can go into some designing later on. Because as you can see, I would love to make this whole city look even better and stuff, but without money, um, it's really not working that well. And I think, yeah, it's, it's just a cool idea to, to go for a new one, I guess. But again, I really want to make sure that you guys are uh, with it and you have some you know, you have some time and you want to watch these videos, you enjoy them, um, because otherwise I'm just I'm just trying to stream that maybe at some point or whatever. But yeah, I think this, this game deserves the attention and uh, deserves it to make some videos on it. And I just want to make sure that you guys are up for it. So again, if you want to see this, um, make sure to drop it in the comments down below and then we will have a look into the new design. And again, the idea would be to have one episode where I really focus on the design process then we have another update video where it would be about um, how I, I moved on. And then hopefully the third video would be about having the 1K city, which I really would love to see. Um, and yeah, I think it would be about really getting those dense little central hubs, I guess. I have no idea how big these hubs would be. Um, I would figure that like a central hub would work like this, um, where you have the market space in the middle and then just like, I think it would... Overall, I think you would go up to like maybe 10-ish of these hubs on, on the maps. I think that is kind of realistic, 10-ish of these hubs might be doable. But yeah, I'm a bit confused because now more people join my city than ever before in this few minutes of uh, of the video. So yeah, again, I don't know if, if it makes sense to go with so many foragers. But again, I don't really know what to fill in now. Maybe one tailor here. Uh, we, we, we could take some more... Got millers, soldiers. I, I mean, we could assign some more soldiers, but whatever. That doesn't really help. Um, hmm. I mean, woodcutters, as I said, doesn't really help too much. Transporters, market tender. We can basically put them into foragers first because that gives us berries and that should be fine. Uh, because berries are also important. But yeah, we are also averaging around 300-ish of all the food resources and um, actually if I would continue over here my uh, common cloth also going down quite substantially they have been at 2.5k and we are already 1.4 so it, actually I would need to change this now in order to make sure that we are not running out of cloth at all last time I, I, I started redoing it at like 700 and I was way too late before I was even starting to up the production again we were already down to zero and yeah I, I couldn't get any more money and whatever that was really a shame but yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed this circular city build um, I think it was a good idea the execution could have been better <laughs> um, and yeah also let me know if you want to see a new uh, little thing little series also you want to see some modded uh, ones because this one is fully vanilla and I really hope that you guys are also looking into some modded stuff there are some cool mods out there for foundation so just let me know and I'm more than happy to uh, welcome you guys in the next uh, little series of foundation so let me know in the comments down below and make sure to like subscribe whatever you know the drill make sure to support the video if you like it blah 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 now have fun have a good 
day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.